Hello there! So today we're going to take you through how to download HitFilm, which is a free video editing uh, piece of software. Uh, it used to be called HitFilm Express, and if you go to Google and type HitFilm, first result, fxhome.com is the one that you want, and it'll take you through to the HitFilm website. The first thing you want to do is click the sign in button in the top right hand corner. If you haven't yet created an account, then you want to click this link. That will take you across to sign up for a free account, no credit card required. And once you've signed in here, then you need to come back in and sign into your account to even access the download these days. So this bit is a little bit different to what it's been like previously. And once you've done that, if you click sign in, it will take you back to the website. You can click on the download free button. So this will take you to this page and you'll download HitFilm 2023.1, which is the latest version at the moment. So if we accept cookies and minimize that, the download itself is 421 megabytes, so a reasonably beefy download. But what it does mean is that you don't have any extras to download once that's finished. Um, so the install is downloaded into your computer. If it doesn't auto start, you can click the download for Windows icon or the download for Mac icon, depending on your operating system. And once it's finished downloading, all you have to do is launch the software, sign in using your details, which does make it easier in terms of not having to perform additional steps to remove the watermark. And then you're good to go. So you can start doing your magic on HitFill. So we'll give that a few moments to download and then we'll get straight back to it. Once the download's complete, if we single click on the HitFilm 2023.1 MSI, which will trigger user access control, or will it not? Interesting, it's not triggered it yet. We'll expect that to at some point, so I guess administrative privileges. Interesting, that's changed from last time. Um, so it's going to set up the 64-bit version on our computer. So we just need to click Next to continue. There's the end user license agreement. You to read really carefully. Fairly standard terms and conditions. And once you've done that, you need to tick the I accept the terms in the license agreement button and press Next. Then you've got three options for setup type, typical, custom, and complete. So typical will install the most common features, which is recommended for most users. Complete will install absolutely everything. Custom will allow us to pick. So we're going to have a look what's in the custom install. So we've got HitFilm here, and it's selected will be installed on the local drive by default, along with application files, effects, and transitions. So these two are both integral parts of HitFilm. And Mocha HitFilm which is to perform planar tracking on videos to solve 3D motion using Mocha HitFilm. It says it's requiring minimal space, so you might as well leave it on there, but if you didn't want that, you can click this button at the bottom, entire feature will be unavailable, but for the moment, we're gonna leave all that on and click next. So we're then on the final screen, not too much to configure, and it says click install to begin the installation, click back to review or change any installation settings and click cancel to exit the wizard. Well, we're gonna click install, and we can see by the shield next to it, it's gonna trigger user access control. So once we've clicked install there, it starts the setup uh, procedure, and then we click yes on the user access control, which will allow it to change files on our disk, which obviously it has to when it's installing the program looks for previous versions, it removes them if they are on your computer, so it's removing old versions of HitFilm for us easily, and then removing the backup files, and then it's copying the files for the new version of HitFilm, and updating various areas of the registry, so that HitFilm can run for us straight after finishing this installation process. Once it has finished, you'll get the complete of the HitFilm setup wizard screen, and there's a box tick to press start HitFilm. If you don't want to start HitFilm straight away, you can uncheck that and press finish. But we're going to leave that pressed to start HitFilm and then press the finish button. Once we've done that, HitFilm will then start for us as an application, and at first launch, it is probably going to take a little bit longer than it would do usually as it's performing its initial configuration. And then there we have it. We're inside HitFilm now. It's going to load up the main screen. It's tempting you to try and subscribe for more features. But that's it. It's auto signed us in because we've down we've signed in on the website, which is a handy new feature in the late 2022 and 2023 versions. So you are literally ready to get going and press file, new and start creating a new project straight away. Hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more HitFilm tutorials, and we shall see you again shortly. Bye!